Hello humans, I'm the alien doctor, but you could call me alien, and welcome back to another video. Our first video of 2022. That feels very weird to say, I have to admit. But yeah, it's the first video of 2022, which is very exciting. So I did a similar video to this last year, but basically I want to lay down my goals and plans for the year in terms of the channel anyway. But before we get too far into it, I do just want to say... Thank you everyone for a great 2021. The channel did absolutely amazing last year. Like we actually started to gain subscribers. It was brilliant. Like we have over double the amount of subscribers that we started the year with. In fact, we probably have over triple, maybe even quadruple. But yeah, we probably do, you know. But anyway, let, let's not get too bogged down into that. But I do just want to say a big massive fat Thank you. It's great that you roll here. Welcome to the Alien Empire. I don't really know what to say. Um, trust me, it may not come across it, but I am genuinely really, really happy that there are actually people watching my videos and that we've created a little community, which is really, really cool. That was kind of always one of my goals is to create a community that I decided to name the Alien Empire for some reason. I also hope that you're all having a great day and I guess technically year because the year just started. Anyway, so the background of this video is just going to be some random PvP footage I recorded yesterday on The Hive. So you may want to minimize it and listen to it almost like a podcast whilst you play Minecraft or something. I don't know. Or you could watch the PvP footage. I mean, I did record it for a reason. So anyway, let's just get into some of the goals and plans I have this year regarding the channel. So the first one is a pretty big announcement, and that is I want to begin YouTube streaming. So at the end of 2020 and the beginning of last year, I did do YouTube streaming, but eventually decided to switch to Twitch. At the time, I was able to stream on Twitch pretty regularly. However, as the year went on, I was unable to stream as regularly as I think you would kind of need to grow on Twitch. And I think a similar thing will happen if I stay on Twitch, whilst I can probably stream regularly enough to actually grow on there. I'm better off just streaming on YouTube, basically, and growing on the YouTube channel instead. Um, so basically what I'm saying is I'm switching all of my streaming to Twitch, or almost all of it, I'll explain a little bit about that later. But yeah, all of the Minecraft streaming will be done on YouTube. I think I just said Twitch a couple of seconds ago. I mean to say YouTube. I'm going to be streaming on YouTube. I'm trying to record this in one take. It's going terribly so far. But yeah, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube, all the Minecraft stuff. And um, yeah, that's just because I don't stream regularly enough to really get an audience on Twitch. Also, you guys are already here on YouTube, so it makes sense to actually stream on YouTube instead of trying to get you all on Twitch. So you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Maybe in the future we will switch back to Twitch. But anyway, for now, we are going to be doing YouTube stream. Now, I am going to stream on Twitch still, however, I'm going to be playing a more variety sort of games. So, for example, when the Breath of the Wild sequel comes out, I really, really want to play that, and I really, really want to stream it as well. But I'll be streaming that on Twitch because I kind of want to keep my main channel, at least, for Minecraft stuff because that's the main game I enjoy and it's the main thing I make content on. But yeah, that's kind of it for streaming. I really, really enjoy streaming and I'd prefer to stream with no viewers on YouTube than to stream with no viewers on Twitch just because at least then on YouTube it's counting towards something that I already put a lot of time and effort into with like the editing and the making videos because primarily I am a video content creator maker person, not a really a streamer. That's not to say I don't enjoy streaming or anything like that. It's just that like... I prefer making videos and editing and stuff. That's actually one of the many reasons I wanted to do YouTube is because I enjoy editing. So yeah, I think it just makes more sense to stream on the YouTube channel and grow that where I have, I guess, put more effort in. So I also want to be trying more active on my other socials, which is a bit of a random goal, honestly. But I just want to use like Instagram more. I probably won't be checking it in the same way I check something like Twitter, but I want to use or post more specifically Instagram and TikTok. 
I'm sorry, anti-TikTok people. But yeah, I want to try and use those platforms more because they will help grow the Alien Empire community and uh, that sort of thing. So yeah, I want to use things like that. I also have a subreddit. I don't think I've ever spoken about it in a video. R slash the alien doctor. You should go and check that out. I've pretty much finished setting it up. I still want to add a couple of things. But yeah, you guys should go if you use Reddit and join that and post on it and stuff. I'm going to try and be active on there as well. I don't, I'm not really active on any other subreddit or Reddit in general. So uh, I guess that's kind of like one of my goals is to actually use Reddit for my community at least. I don't know if I'm interested in any other subreddit. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. <laughs> I also want to work on the website. So thealiendoctor.com has been in development for a good a few months now. And I think it's an easy goal to finish it this year. Or, well, not finish it because it will never technically be finished, but make it viewable and usable and things like that. Uh, side note, if you actually want to help contribute to making thealiendoctor.com, the source code is actually public and anybody can contribute onto it. If you want to, it's on our GitHub organization. Uh, if you just search the Alien Empire into GitHub, it should come up, or you can search for thealiendoctor.com, whatever floats your boat. But on the website, obviously, it's going to be a place for all of my downloads, so I don't have to do it through a third party like Mega or Mediafire. I can actually yeah, get the downloads on the website and uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. I did have the other website, thealiendoctor.jimdofree.com, but uh, I don't know, it doesn't look very good when it literally has Jim Dufree in its name. So yes, I bought a domain, I now also pay for server hosting for the website, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool and really exciting, and I'm really excited to see what me and anybody else that helps work on the website manages to pull off on there. We already have one person, shout out to Nicey Guy, who has been amazing with helping out on the website. But yeah, as well as a place for all of my downloads and things like that, and uh, by the way, speaking of downloads, I do want to make more resource and behavior packs this year, but uh, at this point I'm just saying stuff. <laughs> like, I'm just, I don't know, it feels like I'm just saying loads and loads of things that I want to do this year. Um, anyway, I also want to start a blog on the channel, so for example this video I could also write in a written form and obviously do that as a blog on the website. And I don't know, I just think it's something I'm interested in uh, trying out for the first time. I've never really done anything like that before. So uh, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how it will go, so if you're interested in possibly reading some alien blogs, then watch out for them soon on thealiendoctor.com. So it wouldn't be a YouTuber New Year goals video thingy without some sort of statistic goals. And uh, I don't know, I'd never really been massively interested in like the numbers. Like I don't check analytics that often. Like obviously I want people to watch the videos, but at the end of the day, if people aren't watching the videos, it's never really stopped me before if you get what I mean. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain how I feel about analytics and statistics on content creation and things like that. They are definitely important, but at the same time, they don't get me down or something. I don't know. Anyway, it wouldn't be like a YouTuber New Year goal thing without some sort of subscriber goal. So I'm just going to say 5,000 subscribers. I know it is quite far away, but we did do quite a lot of growing last year. And I think we're going to do even more growing this year, hopefully. 5,000 is a lot of people. I know that's a lot of work, but if I work hard enough, which I plan on doing, I think it is a very doable goal. Maybe, you know what, 5,000, now that I say it, it does sound a bit, a bit high, but I can't really go back. I guess I could cut this out of the video, but why would I do that? So we'll go for 5,000 subscribers. Social Blade, actually, what does Social Blade say? Because last year, I just went on to Social Blade to actually <laughs> I actually just went on to Social Blade last year to set my subscriber goal, which was 750 subscribers. And honestly, Social Blade was pretty much right, which is amazing. Okay, so let's see. In 12 months on Social Blade, it actually reckons that I'll get 3,000, nearly 4,000 subscribers. So I reckon that we can maybe get 5,000 because I don't know how this exactly works, but I'm going to make the assumption that it's based upon how you're growing now. So like at the rate I'm growing now, let's assume that I'm going to continue growing at a quicker rate, then perhaps I will beat the subs prediction on Social Blade, I don't know. 
we'll have to see on that one, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. If we meet it, then yay. If we don't, then no. I'm not really too fussed about that sort of thing. But yeah, anyway, that's sort of like the statistics. And uh, let's actually talk about the content for next year. The actual things I'm making. So I've already spoken about live streams. Uh, so I guess the only other content that I make is obviously videos. It's also my main type of content if you haven't noticed. Last year I spoke about finding a good upload schedule and for the majority of last year I went by one that worked pretty well. So I'm going to make that one official. My upload schedule is now officially Wednesday and Sunday at 4pm GMT or BST depending on what time zone the UK is in at that time of year because obviously BST is when Britain is in summer that's why it's British summertime and then GMT is Greenwick or which or have you say it meantime which is what the UK are in now because it's not the summer basically yeah <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing but it is the time of 4 p.m is not specific or sorry it's not set in stone so if you do want a later or an earlier time because it fits your time zone better then uh, let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll consider changing it. Four is just what I have always done for whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it works quite well for me. But uh, if you would rather have a better time, then uh, yeah. Feel free to let me know if you prefer it later or earlier. Obviously, remember to convert it to your time zone if you don't live in the UK. And uh, in terms of what days will be for what, most of the time, Wednesdays will be for the sort of Let's Play videos. So things like... Alien Craft and Pioneer Craft, and then Sundays will be for these sort of what I call creative mode videos. So they will be tutorials, which I want to do more of this year, add on showcases, beta videos when they start coming around again. That isn't to say I won't upload at other times in the week as well, those are just the two days that it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to upload on, unless something else happens that stops me from doing so. But yeah, that's kind of the plan anyway. And uh, it worked pretty well for all the amount of time last year, which was the majority of it that I was doing it. So uh, yeah, let's just make it official. So I've already mentioned tutorials is one of the things I really want to focus on this year. They're a great way to grow the channel. I know you guys get use out of the things that I make sometimes, maybe, hopefully. And then also, I just love designing stuff. Even if it's not the most efficient, I just enjoy designing it. I also want to do more streams on UFO SMP. That's obviously my public Java and Bedrock Edition crossplay fan server that you can apply to join. You may be like, I did just say it's public, but it's not public. Well, it kind of is. It's semi public. You have to apply to join, but we let basically anyone in. Like, the only reason we actually make an application system is just uh, it's an easy way to filter out trolls and things like that. But so, uh, yeah. And lastly, as always, I want to continue growing the Alien Empire community. And I think one of the great ways we could do this is via events. So next year, I want to do way more events. We'll probably do some events on UFO SMB, but I also want to do other events on separate servers that I will have to figure out how to get for a reasonable price <laughs> because I am not made of money. But uh, yeah. I'm thinking something like a Bedrock UHC is something I think could be pretty cool as an event. I could live stream it so people could stream snipe me because that's a thing that people like to do. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Bedrock UHC is just kind of something that sounds pretty fun. It's on Bedrock Edition, which most UHCs aren't, and it's a UHC. If you don't know what a UHC is, then wait until I actually announce the event properly because that's just one of the ideas I have that's not set in stone. And I won't tell you the ideas in case I don't end up doing them or in case they change or something, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this may seem like a bit of a weird video. I'm trying not to do more than one take for stuff, which probably isn't the best way to do things, but I kind of want this to be a more real conversation and not overly edited, if that makes sense. So yeah, but thanks for the great year. Let's make 2022 even better. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend checking out the video I posted yesterday, which was actually about last year or last year was just yesterday, so uh, 2021 basically. And um, yeah, it was a great video. I loved making it. I love making that sort of video. And it was really, really fun. And uh, maybe if you haven't been around the community for too long, you can watch it and see what this place is about. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for the year. Feel free to like and subscribe today to join the Alien Empire. I'll see you in the next video coming very soon. Bye.